I'm getting a lot of attention, not just for the delicious food and wonderful menu items, but essentially saving the planet or helping to yeah. save the planet. Our new friend, Chef Jeff Krause with the Crepe Bar, is here in the bistro whipping up some stuff. I love crepes because they can be savory or they can be sweet. Or both. Or both. Right. Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, you can do it. You can okay. do it. The chef can do it. <laughs> but you guys are completely sustainable, you said. Pretty much. We have really close to 100% of no waste. Wow. Everything has its purpose. That's yeah. not easy. No, no, no. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of mindfulness, and a lot of prep. So how do you and do it? a great it? team. How do you do it when you run a restaurant? Oh, have a great team, first mm -hmm. off. Um, and we just do a lot of planning and prep, uh, a lot of testing and research. And, you know, we, like I said, we have, a, we have a small space, so everything has its purpose. And, you know, if we have it in the house, in the restaurant, we, we figure out a way to use it. Now, you're kind of used to small spaces because you used to be in a food truck, and now you have yeah. a brick and mortar. Tell us about that transition. Well, I was the very first food uh, truck that was full service, trucking good food back in maybe 2010. Wow. Um, so I've been in business going on my eight Trendsetter. Year, 90, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's kinda, that's again part of the reason why we do no waste, right? And that's one of the reasons we use crepes as our as our main. You don't need a plate. Right. You right. don't need a fork. No. I mean, it right there. It's sustainable. Yeah, 100 percent. All right. So what are we making today? You brought so many delicious looking things, and I want to get right to it. Well, yeah. Let's uh, let's kick this on real quick okay. first because we're gonna do uh, our stove. By the way, takes like sometimes, 45 minutes. Sometimes it's not as reliable it as it should be. <laughs> okay. Um, well, first off, we just did. A, we brought a couple of our fan favorites, right? Mm -hmm. um, the, the Heritage Duck Breast, um, cooked golden brown, medium rare, and then we shave it really, really thin, and we pile that on top of a crepe that's filled with um, ham from. It's a hasaha. Hase Yampa ham from wow. Nucha. Um, and then we have a little Fontina cheese in there. We wrap that up, make a little pocket, mm. do the shaved duck, and then we have mixed greens from our farmers. We use a lot of our local resources. Yeah. Um, our agriculture here, our products here mm -hmm. are so Incredible. good. Incredible. The very savory dish. Yes, uh, with a little preserved uh, mustard seeds. Oh, okay. So I was going to say, is that caviar, but mustard oh, seeds? Mustard okay, seeds. all right. Um, so it's a play off of duck Cuban. That's another thing that I love about crepes. They're so playful. Mm -hmm. you, know you can what have I mean? fun There's with the so recipes. Much. Yes. What's this one? This is um, our, our, we're in the Southwest, right? First thing that comes to mind is what? Burritos. Burritos. So we did an adobo crepe burrito. Wow. Right? Um, filled with cheesy eggs, soft eggs. We do Ooh. a mole. Everything's made in house. Um, we take a lot of time on what we do and what we make. Um, on top is a smoked paprika cotija. And then a little dressed cilantro, and then we make our own little sea salt. Mm. It's a chipotle malden salt. A little kick that to looks it. A little, little kick. kick. That little looks kick. great. Yes. Um, and then, well, cool thing over on this side, that's what we just, from the Restaurant Association of Arizona, um, awarded us the innovative dish um, for fast casual. That's that's a playoff of a tostada, but it's crepes. And that's oh, our wow. practice of no waste, right? So we take the batters that aren't sold for the day. Okay. We make them, because everything's made daily. Mm -hmm. And then we, we reserve them and then fry them mm -hmm. in olive oil, and then we do crepe statas. That's all right. And people can just snack on those while they're waiting for their crepes. You got it. And okay. we fill them with, oh, this is hot and nice. That's oh, did we get it yeah, too hot? Yeah, maybe they're sorry no. about sorry. that, Ty. Just move it out of his way. This is what we want. We want some smoke, some sound. So we basically made a uh, honey syrup. Oh, there's the Ooh, sweet. Ooh, you can smell there's that. There's the right? sweet. And it's a little savory. We infuse it with whatever herbs we have on hand. Rosemary mm -hmm. is that one. And then we're just going to reduce this real quick. And were those figs, the first figs, one you put in? We've got figs and blackberries, but you can change it up to however. Or whatever, whatever you, you have. Right, you got it. We've got about 45 seconds left here, OK, chef. check this out. OK. So we're just going to get this nice and hot. Once it's glazed, Beautiful. you're just going to pour this right on a crepe. And our crepes are 15, 16 inches in diameter. In diameter. Nice and hearty. They're big. You won't be lacking. And super light. So we just want to do that. Uh-huh. Do a little fresh whipped cream. Wow. Look at that. Is your mouth watering yes. yet, Ty? The smell of that Delicious. just by itself is incredible. So olive oil, berries, and a little honey. You got it. Wow. Um, rosemary. 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 OK, we're getting the wrap. Where are you guys located? Um, northwest corner, rolling out at South Tempe. Open every day? Um, Tuesday through Saturday, 7 to 2, Sunday, 9 to 2. Perfect. Chef, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you. Those are for having Incredible. Me. Delicious.